All right. Welcome on in, everyone. My name is Coach Christian. This is Coach Heather, and we are bringing you another Coach Care Connect daily virtual workout. Today, we got some really good stuff. Nice little bit longer of a circuit. Uh, we're going to go six exercises for a 25-15 a uh, little circuit today. It's going to be some really good stuff that we want to encourage you to go a little heavier maybe um, because you're only going to need one dumbbell. Um, we're going to go through four rounds. Every exercise uses that one dumbbell um, and we'll have some really good stuff there. But let's get into our warm up first. That's where we always start. Heather's going to take us through that. We're going to start in our high plank position with a Spider-Man with elbow drop. So hop one foot outside your hand. Then we're going to take that elbow down to the inside of your foot. The instep five times. Feel a little stretch when you're at the bottom there. Take some time. Um, and get some good reps. Good. When you're done with five on that side, walk the other foot up. And we'll do five over there as well. Try to keep that back leg nice and long. It'll help you get some of that good lower body stretch to get yourself ready for today. Awesome. After that, we're going to stay in our high plank position. We have a scapular push-up coming up. This one's all about the shoulder blades. So try to squeeze the shoulder blades together as you come down and then push them apart as you come back up. So the elbows don't bend on this one. The only thing that's happening is we're moving our shoulder blades. Picture like you got a little egg in between them. You're trying to crack it and then spread the shoulder blades and push them apart. Good. Ten reps there. Knock them out. Good. Good. Keeping your body locked to that straight line as well. Got to keep the core turned on um, for that one. Good. Next one, we're going to go into a single leg reach for this one. We're going to drop that uh, foot back here. We're going to keep it nice and long as you come down. Soft bend in the front leg. You don't want it completely locked out, but you want to feel the tension in that bottom hamstring there. So five reps on each leg here for 10 total. In a warm up, it's okay to use a wall or anything that you need for support. Uh, we want to focus on that range of motion, getting a good stretch and a good uh, motion here as we warm up. Good. Five on each side again. Perfect. Good. Then our last exercise uh, in our warm-up here is going to be some seal jacks. So hands in front. We open it up. It's kind of like a jumping jack, but instead of coming up in front of our head, uh, on top of our head, we're in the front right there. 15 total reps. Knock them out. Get them done quick. Spike the heart rate up a little bit before we get into our work today. All right. So... As you guys are finishing up the warm-up and take your time, we're going to demo our six exercises today. Um, and again, we're only going to use one dumbbell. So Heather's got her one dumbbell today. I'm pretty medium weight would be amazing today. But if you want to go a little bit heavier, again, we have that option as well. First one, front squat. We're going to hold in the goblet position. We're going to go all the way down, all the way up. We're going to squat it out here. Weight is in the heels. Chest stays tall. Sit back into the chair. Should be able to wiggle the toes a little bit at the bottom. That doesn't mean you have to, um, but the weight needs to be in the heels, kind of spread out through the foot evenly there. So that's going to be our first 25 seconds. So we'll take a 15 second break, and then we're going to go down into a two point row. We're only going to do one side this round. So for 25 seconds, you're going to stick on, let's say, the left side to start. Uh, so left side, 25 seconds, two point position. Got that back leg nice and long, pulling in tight to the rib cage there. So 25 seconds there. Then we're going to go side lunge. Side lunge, we're going to go in the goblet position. We're going to take one side. 25 seconds, we're just going to go to that left side again since we did left hand in the two-point row. Inside leg stays nice and long. You want to sink the hips back on this one. Try to keep the chest up as you sit weight back into that outside foot. So uh, on that one, going after it a little bit, a great one to go heavy again. After that, dead bugs. We're going to be on our back. We're going to take that single dumbbell. We're going to hold it in our left hand again, and it's going to stay right over the shoulder. And then our right arm, left leg is going to come and extend out. So opposite arm, opposite leg. And right here for 25 seconds, the next round we'll do the other side there. Focus on uh, the lower back on that one. If it starts to come up off the ground or if you feel the core, uh, try to engage more or limit your range of motion. Good. After that, we're going to go into a push press. We're going to be on the left side for this one, straight up over the head. Use the lower body. Think of a dip drive. So dip into it. Drive up over top. Use the lower body to help you get it up over the head. Good. Then our last exercise is going to be a plank pull through, high plank position. We're going to use that dumbbell and we're going to pull it through our uh, uh, plank here. So think reach and pull. Reach through, pull across. Reach through, pull across. Don't push through and then have to reach to grab it, if that makes sense. So reach. On this one, your goal is to not move the hips. Got to keep them as stable as possible there, going back and forth. You can always take it to the knees on that one as well if you feel the hips moving all the way all around. Widen the feet a little bit. If they're still moving, then we drop it down to the knees to create stability there. But those are our six exercises. Again, we're going to go through four rounds. So we'll have two on each side. One dumbbell is all you're going to need. So let's get that set up, and we will get started here in about 25 seconds. 
All right, team. So let's get started with this one. You guys get set up for your front squats. That's where we're going to start with that one. Um, I'm going to get the clock ready to go, and we are going to get started with this one today. So about 10 seconds. Boom. And uh, we will take off. 25 seconds at a time, 15 seconds in between, four rounds. This is our left side round. Three, two, one. Let's front squat. Here we go. Now, again, weight is in uh, the front of the chest here. It wants to pull you forward. You got to keep the core tight. You got to keep the weight in the heels here to keep that chest nice and tall. Good. Just over the halfway mark here. Got about 10 seconds to finish up your first round of the day here. Good. In three, two, one, and rest. All right. 15 seconds in between our rounds. We're going to go into that two-point row now. Again, left side is our round here. So left hand is going to hold the weight, which means your left leg is back. Here we go. Three seconds. Two, one. Here we go. Same side for the entire 25 second round here. So pulling in tight to the rib cage, controlling on the way down. The way down is just as important as the way up. A lot of times, especially if we're going pretty heavy, we have a tendency to really focus on that way up and then just let it kind of fall back to the bottom. But we can take it a little bit slower. We can get some really good eccentric work because that's the eccentric part of that movement. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, side lunges coming up. So side lunges, let's get back to our goblet position. We're going to go left again, so left side. Take a big old step to that left side. Uh, get that nice side lunge and power up to the center. Three, two, one, let's go. Good, big step. Heather does a, such a good job keeping her inside leg long and keeping the chest tall. This is one that it feels kind of like you're hinging forward almost a little bit when you get down there. But if you can sit the weight back and keep that chest a little taller, we get into a really good position there. Good. Six seconds. Couple more. Four, three, two, and one. Rest. Very good. Dead bugs are coming up next. Let's take it down to our backs. Dumbbell is going to stay in the left hand here. So the right arm and left leg are moving. So left arm, that dumbbell arm stays right over the shoulder. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. So this dumbbell hand doesn't move an inch this entire round. The only thing that's moving is that uh, leg on that side and the arm on the other side. So right arm, left leg. Lower back is nice and stable on the ground. Core is tight for the entire round. If I were to come and poke you right in the stomach, that core should be tight. Now, I won't do that, but if I did. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Up to the feet again. We got two more moves to finish up our first round here. First one is going to be our push press. Left hand is doing the work here. Keep the shoulders even as we dip drive. But here we go. Four, three, two, one, and let's go. Good. Straight up, straight down. Looking good. And stand on the same side for the entire round here using our lower body. Think of this as a lower body exercise. That's where you really want your power to come from. Moving that dumbbell fast for these last eight seconds. Good. Five, four. Three, two, and one. Rest. All right, 15 seconds. We are going to go into our plank pull through to finish up our first round here, team. Then we got a nice long minute break in between. So let's finish this one up, go hard for it, and then take that break and recover. Three, two, one. Let's go. Remember, reach across, pull through. Reach across, pull through. Try to create a little tension on the ground by dragging that dumbbell across. It should make it hard to uh, not move your hips. You want it to be challenging, but you want to fight that movement. You want to fight to keep your hips in that stable, stable position. Good. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. One minute. Take your time here. Get some good rest. Get some water. Get Do what you uh, got to do in between your rounds, and we'll get ready for that next round. Now, what I would say is if you can, if that weight wasn't too bad, uh, too light, too heavy, we can adjust weights, but maybe try to keep it the same for the next round to even out sides, and then we can adjust again after our second round. So we got another round coming up on the right side. Same stuff, right side. Got about just over 30 seconds to rest before we get into it. So take some time, 30 seconds. All right, team. Let's start to get set up here for our second round. Front squats are coming back into play in about 12 seconds here. This is our right side round. So everything is going to be on the right side. That is a sided exercise. 
So let's get ready for that. Five seconds. Let's squat it out to start. Three, two, one. Let's go. Round two. Two of our four rounds today. And what a great opportunity today to get a little closer to your goals, to get closer to where you want to be. But we got to take it one rep at a time. Every rep is a chance. It's an opportunity. We got a lot of opportunities today. Let's keep working at them. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and rest. All right. Two point rows. Right side this time. So right arm is holding the weight. Right, ar or right leg is back. Let's have some fun with it. Bent over position. Here we go. Four, three, two, one. Two point rows. Go. Good. Getting that full extension as well. Not stopping when your elbow gets to your side. It's got to pull that dumbbell all the way into the rib cage right here. So it's not stopping. Keeping driving back, pulling it in. Do a really good job. Ten seconds. Good. Keep pulling. Keep going after it here. Three, two, one, and done. Side lunges. Side lunges this time. We're going to our right. Big old step over. Drive off that outside leg to get you back to that standing position. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Big step. Inside leg stays long. So that left uh, leg on this one. That one should stay in that same spot. That left foot. The right foot takes a big old step to the side and drives off that right heel to get yourself back to that standing position. Eight seconds. Good, good. Couple more quality ones. Three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds. All right, dead bugs. This time, right hand is going to hold that weight over the right shoulder. Left arm, right leg. Those are the ones that are moving. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Good. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Extend it out. Keep the core tight. If you start to feel that lower back start lifting off the ground, what I want you to do is limit your range of motion. So don't extend quite as far. Extend to the point where you start to feel that lower back lift and stop right there and come back in. That'll be your end range of motion today. And my recommendation would be to go see your local coach, your local Anytime Fitness. They got a plan that'll help you. Two, one, and rest. All right, bring it up to the feet next. We're going to go into our push press. We're on the right side this time. So get ready for that. Got eight seconds. Let's do it. Let's do it. Dip, drive, using that lower body. Three, two, one. Let's go. So again, like I mentioned, team, anything giving you problems today, anything at all, go into your local anytime. Your coach has a plan ready to go for you, and then we're going to customize it to you as well to fit your goals, to fit your needs, to fit your body. Uh, there's a lot that goes into, into that that we could get into today. Seven seconds. Come on. couple reps. Four, three, two, one and done. Very good. Done with that one. We are going to go finish up round number two with our plank pull throughs. Plank pull throughs. Again, remember, reach across, pull through. Let's do it. Four seconds. Two, one. Here we go. 25 seconds of work. Earn that minute rest coming up, team. Full minute to get you ready for th uh, rounds three and four. But we got to get through these last 15 seconds of our plank pull throughs. No movement in the hips. The only thing that's moving is that dumbbell across right under your chest here. Come on. Last couple. Four, three, two, one, and rest. One minute. Take some time. Grab some water, team. Do what you got to do, but we're going to come back in about 50, uh, 50 seconds here. And we are going to knock out our third and fourth rounds. But grab a drink of water. Definitely got to rehydrate after that round. And we'll be back in about 40 seconds. right still got 30 seconds team but this is the round that if you are going to adjust your weights i would definitely recommend doing it this round since you have one more um on each side so if you need to go up need to go down a little bit do that right now and then in about 15 seconds we're gonna have some fun ready all right 10 seconds starting off with our front squats again weight is in the heels chest stays tall let's do it five seconds Three, two, one, let's go. Round three. Making this one your best round yet. You own these rounds, they don't own you today. 
We're going to go after him. We're going to keep working, keep pushing. Even when we're tired, that's when we get the best work out of it today, team. 12 seconds. Good. Good. Driving through the heels. Drive those knees out. Try to keep the knees pretty much right over the toes. Three, two, one, and done. I love it. 15 seconds here. We're going to go back to our two-point rows. This is our left side round again. So remember that. Left side, left arm. Let's work it. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's go. Good. Pull that thing into the bottom of the rib cage, just like we talked about last round as well. We're not stopping when our elbow gets to our side. We're stopping when the hand gets all the way up to the bottom of the rib cage there. Good. Bottom of the rib cage, top of the hip is kind of where you want to uh, row that hand into on this one. Six seconds. Good. In three, two, one, and rest. All right, done with those side lunges. Back to our left side again. Big step to the left. Right leg stays long. And then we drive back to our standing position. Here we go. Getting down into it today, team. This is crunch time. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Big step. Drive off that outside foot. Really big push from that left foot here to get you back to even. There we go. There we go. Weight in the heels. Keep sitting back. Ten seconds to go. Good. Then we're on our back for some dead bugs coming next. We're getting there, team. In three, two, one, and rest. Fifteen seconds. On our backs again. Left side round one more time. So left hand is going to be holding that weight right over the left shoulder. Right arm, left leg. Those are the ones that are working. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Good. Opposite arm, opposite leg, extending, coming back in, controlled. Good. That's one of the big things about um, our dead bucks. Control is so huge with the body. So as you're coming down, the arm and the leg aren't just falling. They're under control. And then you're bringing them all right back to center. Six seconds. Good. Three, two, one, and rest. 15 seconds. Oh man, let's finish up round number three. We got our push press and our plank pull through. That's all we got left here. Let's do it. Push press to start though. Left side, left arm holding that weight. Let's go. Two, one. Here we go. Getting down into it, team. Again, we got one more round after this. This is the end of round three coming up here. This is where we start to turn it up a little bit, right? Take that notch. We turn it up just one more, one more. Good. Final 10 here. Final 10 seconds. Good, good. Letting it ride here. Letting it flow. Couple more. Three, two, one, and rest. 15. I love it. I love it. Plank pull throughs to finish up our round here. Getting set up for those. Earn that minute rest one more time, team. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Good. Reach through. Pull across. Hips are stable. If you feel those hips moving around a little bit, widen out your feet. You still feel them moving around quite a bit. Maybe we drop it to the knees then. Got to find what works for us no matter where we're at. We're going to meet you where you're at today. Ten seconds. Good. In five, four, three, two, one, and rest. Amazing team. Three rounds down. We got one more to go. One more on our right side. Um, we'll get there in about 50 seconds, but grab some water. Take some deep breaths. Let that heart rate come back down for me. Um, and then we will get started with that last round in 45 seconds. So take a little time here. All right, 30 seconds to go still. Lots of time. Keep breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Get that relaxation going. Get some good stuff. We'll stretch you out on the other side. And we'll get you on with the rest of your day. Six exercises, 25 seconds a piece. That's it. That's it. That's all it is. 25 seconds at a time. We got about 10 seconds to get ready here. Let's go back to our front squat. Squ uh, front squat. Right side round. Here we go. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Last round, making it our best round, team. And a non single sided exercise as well. We can really go after it. Let's see those best squats here. Most squats in these last 15 seconds. Let's see them. Come on. Good, good. Knocking it out. Eight seconds to go. Five, four, 
three, two, one, and done. All right, 15. We got our two-point row coming up. Right arm, right arm is holding the weight. Right leg is back. Right into the bottom of the rib cage. Here we go. Two-point rows. Let's do them. Three, two, one. Let's go. There it is, team. I know we're tired at this point. The shoulders are still nice and stable here. We're pulling. We're not letting our shoulders rotate around as we pull. There we go. Oh, closing this workout down today. Shutting it down. Killing this last round. Going after it. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and done. All right, side lunges now. Right side. Going over, taking that big old step to the right, drive it off that right foot to get yourself back to even again. Here we go. Round four, exercise three. Three, two, one. Let's do it. Big step out, big push to get yourself back to even. Inside leg long. There we go. 15. Good work and getting after it today. Put that goal right in front of you. You know why you're working hard. We talked about it a little bit earlier. So let's take off now. Let's think about it. What can you do this last round to make it even more challenging for you? Two, one, rest. Done with that one. Dead bugs coming up on our backs. Giving you a little second to breathe as we come down. Right arm is holding the weight. You guys know what to do. Left arm, right leg. Those are the ones that are moving. Three, two, one. Here we go. Same thing goes this round. If you feel that low back start to come up, limit the range of motion. We don't want to put you in those uh, positions that you could potentially get hurt. We're going to keep you safe today. Keep that low back safe as well. Good, good. Final 10 seconds. Get only a push press and a plank pull through on the other side. That's it, team. Four, three, two, one, and rest. I love it. Let's stand up for that push press coming. Last round of it. Let's go after it a little bit, right? Dip, drive up to the top. Use that lower body. 25 seconds. Let's go in three, two, one. Here we go. Straight up, straight down. Drive that thing up to the top. Reset, dip, drive. What I'm looking for this round, it's not the most reps. I'm looking for the most speed of that dumbbell. Moving that thing from the shoulder up to that extended position. Like you're trying to throw that thing through the ceiling in these last couple of reps, team. Five seconds. Don't actually throw it through your ceiling. Three, two, one and rest. All right, finishing up our workout with our plank pull throughs team. One more round, one more exercise, and then we'll stretch you guys out. So let's get it. Let's earn that stretch, earn the end of this workout with this uh, move right here. Plank pull throughs. Three, two, one, let's go. 25 seconds. Good reach, pull, stability in the core. That's the key here. Good, good. 10 seconds, and you are done with this one. Come on. Good. Get it. Five, four, three, two, one, and done. There we go. One dumbbell. That's all you needed today, and you knocked out a good strength circuit. So way to get it done. Let's start out with some stretches here. We're actually going to take it back down to the knee that you were just on. Sorry. Should have said a little earlier. For a couch rocker stretch, one of my favorites, especially after a, uh, a good strength workout, we're going to have the hands on the hips. And we're just going to slowly rock forward, come to your end range of motion, then you can reset. Hit a couple reps on each side here. Maybe four to five on one, then switch your legs and hit four to five on the other. But again, we never want to jerk on our stretches too much. You want to just kind of slowly fall forward until you feel the stretch, and then come back. Slowly fall forward, maybe a little bit farther each time you go, but never pulling with any jerking motions in our stretches. Good. So when you did the five or six or whatever you want to do on that side, we can switch it over. There we go. Good. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that one today. Might be a little bit sore after this one. Any strength workout, anytime you go a little bit heavier, you could be a little sore. Um, definitely drink some water after this one. Get some food in your body within an hour. Um, that's always the goal after any of the our strength workouts or any good workout, you want to start getting that nutrition back into your body um, within the hour, just so your body can start to replenish some of your muscles um, and get you ready for your next workout. After that, let's drop it down to the butt. We're going to take a seat. What you're going to do is step your right leg over your left, and then we're going to rotate to our right. Good. So use the elbow to kind of help you turn just a little bit, and then take some deep breaths on this one. 
feel the stretch with each deep breath. Maybe just go a couple centimeters farther. Take a couple seconds here. And there we go. Make sure that back always rotates well. Teeth spine rotation, very, very key in our everyday life. Good. Three, two, one. Let's switch it up. Other side. Straighten out that other leg. Step the right, left leg over this time. Turn to your left. Good. Good. So take some time with this one. If you have any other tight spots in your body, let's hit those as well. Take five minutes. Spend it on yourself. Stretch it out. Feel good. If you have a foam roll, you can always do that as well. But that is going to be what we have for you all today. Thank you all so much for coming on out. Again, my name is Coach Christian. This is Coach Heather. And we thank you for joining us today and knocking out an amazing workout uh, one more time. Again, thank you for coming out, and we will see you next time.